Hello folks, JR here and welcome to the final episode of the Nissan Skyline R32 build-up. Now in the previous episode, I said that I was gonna uh, give this car to Sifex so you know he could get the lime wheels for me and I would pay, uh, pay him for that. Uh, he did it for free. Not only he did that for free, he also got me some other stuff for free. Now the first one is this, which is the 200 gem green paint which looks absolutely sick also he did this he got me the white red lines now i know that i said in the previous video that they would look too generic and by that i meant that you know that it would be the most obvious choice is that the most expensive but i still freaking love the look of them and it's it's absolutely it's amazing from him so really a big shout out to have suffix again the guy is just simply a legend to me. But uh, on the other hand, we now have a dilemma. Which set of rims to actually keep on the skyline? Now, the white red lines do look absolutely sick, but uh, we do have some other ones to choose from. He did uh, get me the lime wheels, which look really good as well. And uh, then he got me... Uh, hold on. Are they here? Yes, they are. He also got me the orange ones. So he spent around, uh, hold on, let me calculate, 500, 200. He spent around 900 gems on this car, which is a lot. Actually, no, he. Actually, no, he spent over 1000 gems on this car, which is around 20 euros. So it's, it's, it's freaking crazy. Like, Oh my god, this car looks sick. Um, so I'm actually not sure what uh, rims to actually put in it now. But for now, I think I'm actually gonna stick with the red lines because they do look freaking amazing. So we're gonna put them on. And I should point it out that I did max uh, this car out off cam because, you know, I really uh, couldn't wait for like multiple hours um, to get maxed. So there's that. So basically, this is the finished product. Uh, and it, it is the the change is quite noticeable you know uh, so this car started off stock and now it's um basically completely jammed which is freaking epic so anyway we're gonna go in a lobby and we're gonna see how fast it runs uh i didn't uh i'm not sure um what the world record is i did some previous runs and uh uh, from what I was able to, you know, accomplish uh, is that this car can go below 9 seconds. Um, so, you know, it is comparable to the 2011 Subaru Impreza. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, confirm that. Now, the first run will be not boosted, even though I probably should, because uh, this car does have 62 engine stress. So, it's going to be good for, like... Well, less than 10 runs. Let's see. Yeah. Also, I've Safex told me to, late sh uh, to shift late on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So yeah, 9.4, 9.5. Uh, this is like one of the fastest C-Class cars out there, if not the fastest. So 9.3 that was, okay. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna boost it, and we're gonna see if we can get a perfect run for it. I mean, on it, you know, you get the point. So let's see, we have a couple of people joining. Mm. Still, I freaking love the way this car looks. Um, basically, it has 700 gems on it right now. That was a bit better. Oh, he's catching up, but I think we'll, we're gonna hold. Yes, we did. That looked like below 9 seconds, but uh, the first shift for me was kind of... Oh, okay, 9.1. Uh, but the first shift was kind of... Well, was pretty bad for me, so, yeah. So, we're back. To check out the chat, and now let's see. I know, like, there is a quite nice variety of car, uh, of classes in this lobby. I mean, we have uh, S-Class, then we have, I think this is B-Class, some R-Classes. Let's raise the C-Well. Actually, that's not because he's busy. 
just raise this other one. Nope, he is busy as well. God damn it, this game. Hold on, why is everyone bit? Okay, this guy's not. Come on, it's gonna go to. Yes, it is. Thank you. So let's see. I think I'm actually gonna cha uh, change the items on from time to time. Now that was not the perfect launch. Yeah, that was a bit worse than the previous one. The perfect launch really is vital for getting, uh, you know, the best times possible. Obviously, I mean, yeah, that is fairly obvious. Um, just praise this random guy. Actually, nah. He is busy, plus I do kind of feel bad for him as he is in a bit of a fasted lobby. And that car is, uh, doesn't look very upgraded. I mean, he doesn't have arrow parts on it, that's what I'm going for. So let's see. Yeah. How is that not a perfect launch? Come on. Well, it wasn't too good. They're gonna... Well, 9.2 it wasn't too bad either. So I'm just gonna bo boost ahead. Well, you know, boost some more. Because this war is a special occasion, basically. I mean, I am racing my first ever turf car, which is completely jammed out for like... Well, not the first time, but... You know, I'm, I'm recording for the first time, so it is appropriate. So we're gonna be going all in. Let's go. God damn it. I'm gonna get it eventually. Oh yeah, send back some more, dude. The reaction time was pretty good. And that... I need to get a hold of the perfect launch. Which, you know, considering that I'm still not very good at the game, might be a bit of a problem. So, let's see. A new challenger, let's see. The guy who was trying to challenge earlier. Let's go. Oh, this could be a below 9 second run. Let's see. Come on. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be. Like 9.0, 9.1. Something around there. 9.0. It's... Uh, mediocre. Not, not really mediocre, a good run for me, but uh, I'm sure there is people out there who could get this to like 8.8s. .8. So we still have a couple of tries left, so let's see. Can I manage not screw up every single run here? That is the question. Just do a path check in the last ones. Oh, he's catching up. Let's see. Another 9.0 run, I think. So we're getting there. Yeah, a bit faster. I think this is my PB with this car. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we have... Shit, I forgot to boost. God damn it. So I guess we're gonna have another unboosted run if this guy accepts, which he probably will. God, I forget to boost a lot of times. Holy shit. <coughs> Never mind, we can boost. Thank you for raising to something. Ah, I messed up. The reaction time was pretty good though. Um, but you know, I shifted too late on the first gear and I tend to do that a lot. Like, maybe my rea- Actually, yeah, that was a really good time, but... Uh... Oh! Oh, come on! God damn it! It blew up. 
uh, we should have a little less engines to us, you know, we could get uh, an extra run from it. But, <sighs> shit, this card looks awesome. Like, I love it. So, thank you, Fsafix. Um, it just looks so sick. But I still don't know which freaking rims to put in. As I said previously, I'm probably just gonna keep on switching them uh, from time to time. Like, the line one looks sick. And then I, you know, I don't... Well, I think I actually showed them. Uh, we have uh, the freaking orange ones as well. Which, actually, you know, the color combo might seem a bit odd, but it still looks freaking amazing, so... Holy shit, I freaking love this card. But I'm gonna stick with the red lines um, for now. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and uh, my name is Jerry. And uh, that's about it. See ya.